Today we are gonna try something different. We are gonna use scooters and go to check the beach that the plane arrives on the top of the beach. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. After dragging anchor for so many times, we finally could find a place to anchor. And now it was time to explore the island of San Martin. We are finally leaving this boat. Hopefully everything is going to be okay. I don't know if it's the most, uh, not smart, but the most intelligent idea, but it's been three days and we need to trust that the anchor is going to hold. Let's hope for them. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All these boats, people, everyone, you know, our friends are in town walking around and having fun. <coughs> and, you. you know, when you drag anchor, you get a little bit, you know, like a uh, cat afraid of the water, but it's fine. I dove on the anchor, seems like sad, things are going to hold. Let's go. Feels weird to be out of the boat right now, but it's <laughs> okay. And the neighbors that are right behind us are here with us. <laughs> that's good because if we drag, their boat's gonna hold our boat. That's what we hope. <laughs> and hopefully, it's not gonna damage that much. <laughs> hopefully, we have money enough to pay. Otherwise, I don't know, we might lose the boat again, but that won't be good. No. It was so good to finally hang out with friends for a few hours and gain the confidence that the anchor is holding well and that we could leave the boat the next day to explore more of the island. Throttle, so you gotta give it a little push to get it started. It won't oh, start if you don't touch it. it so you don't smash it into something. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. It's not sponsored, but it's fun. <laughs> it it's seems I didn't even go. It's sponsored by me. <laughs> Thank you. Uncle Kiki. <laughs> Time to go. Let's fight together. Bro. <laughs> oh. Are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> be careful, no? Oh, this is gonna be jack shanked up right here. <laughs> that is easy, actually. <laughs> okay, so that red lever on your left hand, that's also that's an electric brake. Fuck, be careful, be careful, fucking be careful, but be careful. We did, we did. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> this is gonna be a risk. That's insane, like so many people here just to see their plane <laughs> go. I just, I mean like, that's the one thing we always say about this island. I know it's cliche, I know every single YouTube sailing channel have filmed that, but you know, I, we need to see for ourselves. If one thing is to see in someone's video, the other thing is to see by ourselves, but. Do you think any of them can buy <laughs> scooters? <laughs> Sharing one. <laughs> oh, oh, going down. <laughs> oh, baby. Thoughts, Pretty cool, I mean, like, it's weird, but it's cool. <laughs> I mean, I just the experience of seeing that many people watching airplanes is just weird, insane. <laughs> so, we're gonna try to do this somewhere. That's just so packed up people, it's insane. <laughs> uh, As we are waiting for the airplane, nobody wants to do something else. Chicken. We I miss it. We are just it. so close. Like we are sitting there, there for like half an hour waiting. There is another one coming. It's not this one. one. Oh, it's not this one. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I don't feel. You are not that sure. What time is it? What time? It's, what time? What time? Yeah, it's it's gonna look. come in actually eight minutes or seven minutes. We are on a beach that the main attraction is to watch the airplane coming by. There is the one coming. You ever want to vlog? Someone else vlogging. This is the beach to do yeah, it yeah. at. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> that was a time. 
tiny one. If I were a kid, I would love being here. Yeah, Hoberta <laughs> Hober Hober told me there was gonna be a big one. That's a tiny one. I, I want to uh, see a big one. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Yeah, someone did the map wrong. She thought like they're coming at 249, but 249 is when they maneuver inside the airport already. That was their plane. We're just a little bit. We came all the way here. We scooted all the way here. We sat on the bar for half an hour and we missed the time of it. It's fine, it's just a lot of people. It's just yeah, we are here more for the ride than for the airplane anyways. Now check on the app again. So now we have a plane coming from Miami, it's a big one, and we are gonna see it. Here we go, the entertainment. <laughs> so Sunset Beach is pretty much the epitome of the Instagram versus reality situation here. It looks beautiful on the internet, but here's where we're really at. That's true. So you're 100% right. It's basically Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> and you're just trying to film me getting my bus. Another plane coming? Let's see, another angle. Oh, it's a big one! That was a big one for real though. <laughs> that was really cool. That, was, that was a big one. Right. Finally! <laughs> Airplane's coming. I wasn't expecting the, the amount of... <laughs> yeah, that's really strong. I didn't know the... You know, I mean, it needs to fly the airplane. It needs to be strong, but I, you know, I never knew that position. No, that was way more intense than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was going to exactly. be kind of weak. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Dude. My sunglasses were flying away. <laughs> you kind of slice my face with your hair on that. I'm sorry. Scooter time! There's a big one coming! <laughs> So our water tank is almost done. So the plan is to go to the gas station because they have water there so we can buy some water to fill the tank. That's what we are taking. How many liters? I think we have like 140 liters. So that's a lot. I mean, I have no idea how we managed to not run out of water since Grenada. That's like a long time ago. I know how we saved some water actually. How? We collect some rainwater for drinking, yes, but not for the rest. It's just like yes. we actually know how to live really with really little water, and that's really good, I think, because some people move to live inside a boat, and nowadays, as you can have a water maker, and that's really awesome, of course. But people live like they're living in a house, and to be honest, I think if you live in a boat, you need to learn how to, you know, step down and use less water, use less energy, and I think we're getting really, really good at that. Just necessity when you need, you need, you know. <laughs> it's like camping. <laughs> Let's go! Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One what a mission! Take a leave and go. Ooh. She had not been two weeks from shore and down on her a right whale board. The captain called all hands and swore to take that whale in tow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One Ooh. day when the dummy is <laughs> that was so cheap. That was three euros for a hundred and 
40 liters, I think. Seriously? Yes. Oh, this was great actually. That's not bad at all. For now, water maker, I'm sorry, it's just like not it's not adding up the price. <laughs> it's just like no we, we spent so far, we've been in the Caribbean for like three months, we spent I think maybe forty dollars in water so far. It's not bad. I mean there is a lot of work involved, but not, not, yes. not that bad. There is a lot of work. So we arrived there and a guy was filling his tank and he allowed us to fill our tanks because his was way bigger and he would take one hour to fill his tank. So in the end he was like, oh, we were at Parley. <laughs> he recognized us from Colin's videos. <laughs> That's funny. We are going to add some chlorine. Actually, this hose is faster than the one we were feeling. It's, it's so quick. We are leaving San Martin tomorrow, so today is a full day. We need to buy food, we need to check out, we need to take, to take the garbage out, we need to buy fuel, and a lot of things. So it's a full day of things to do, so come with us. Let's go. I still find funny that everywhere in a French island is a different place you check in and check out. Sometimes the bakery, sometimes the store, sometimes Oof. I don't know. How do you find out where to go? To be honest, we just say we're friends and I just make the friends find out and then they tell me it's just much easier. <laughs> I'm like, why do I need to find out if someone else is gonna find out first? I think Lou and I always check on Navely. Oh, Navely, yeah, yeah, they do check on Navely. I don't really <laughs> like to use Navely. I never got used to it. Yeah. <laughs> but we are always with someone and there is always someone that knows, so it's fine. So this is the place. I have never been here. This is my first time. Stop, it's gonna be food. <laughs> Two missions, check ready. I got used to the lagoon and now this looks so much more pretty. Look at this, the water is just amazing. Uh, it's gonna be hard to choose which one we want, but it's our last day. A little bit more because we found something that we love. It smells so good. We really, really want it with a shower armor, and we have a shower armor here. Ooh, lamb shower armor. That's just. Mm. That's awesome. Ooh, it smells so good. I smell garlic. Mm. That's for me. Now, supermarket. Mission Supermarché. <laughs> now we need to go back to the boat, leave the food, go get some diesel for the boat. Ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Time to go.